Now let's configure the global typography, colors, layout and blocks uh, following our, our design here. So if you take a look at the design, the color that I'm using here, which is primary color, let's copy the color code from here. So now I'm, I have to just unlink here and copy the color. I'd like to use the same color. Go to colors and make sure you have selected this uh, styles. Uh, icon which is called styles and click on colors and here you can see the elements and I would like to change or select here and the theme color is here and if I click over here you can edit the color now I'm going to use the primary color from my theme and click on this icon here basically without clicking here you cannot update the color and paste your color well so here you can see i just added my own color and that's all take a look here if there is any other color oh, there is no other color um, ever uh, i'm i just used a uh, one color here i think and if it's necessary to add another color or any other colors there is another color i think this one let's copy this one as a light color and remove this one okay so i'd like to use the light color also as a secondary color the secondary color is perfect here uh, this one is also looks good but i'd like to use another color let's uh, use or click over here okay click on done so that it saves the color and go to color options again so I'm going to use this one and click done. So here you can see I just selected the color. Now I'd like to use the typography that I'm using right now inside this design. If I take a look at the heading font, the heading font is source serif pro. Uh, when I select it here at the right, right side here, you can see the source serif pro. And if I select the menu font, it's called, let's click over here. Okay, I have to click on very specific thing here. It's called also Source Series Pro. Well, now go to palette, uh, go back and here you can see the typography and the text color, Source Series Pro. There is only um, three options that you can use default and system font and you can use Source Series Pro. And if I go back again and the link color also source serif pro so that's all and it will apply the heading everything inside our uh, WordPress theme well now I have added the typography and colors click on save and now if I go to blocks and buttons and you can select the button color layout and everything here so currently I'm going to change the button style. So before going to change, I would like to add a button here to see the exact view, how it looks. Taste button. Well, and go to, first of all, go to colors. Okay, so before going to colors, uh, I already added the colors typography and layout. I'd like to change the button format. Go to blocks and click buttons so there is two button buttons buttons and button so if you select button it's only change the button so here you can see the color now click on background the background color is selected by default because i have already selected it from the color options now if i change it to black it you can uh, display the button looks like this now i do not want to use at this moment i am also you can use the gradient button here uh, it comes with a lot of features you can use the gradient color uh, it looks uh, great here now i'm not going to use the gradient you can clear the uh, used color or typography everything like this way from here go to solid color here so the color looks perfect and um, if i just change Okay, the color looks great, the text looks great here. 
now the layout the layout basically the radius you can add the button border radius here so inside my design it doesn't comes with the border radius so i'm not going to use this one and you can change the padding here if i take a look at the button well so now i'm just uh, adding the button padding uh, based on my measurements uh, or the, uh, an idea if i click here to unlink the top and bottom padding is 20 pixel and the left and right is 30 pixels so i just press tab from my keyboard and as you can see when i press tab uh, first of all if i select here you can see the top and bottom is selected from the icon and when i press tab it just select the pixel you can change it pixel percentage em or some other value and if i tap or press tab again it will take me to the next uh, box which is horizontal padding now add 30 pixel and hit the enter it looks like this so the top and bottom 15 is perfect at this moment i think and the 30 is perfect uh, the left and right which is horizontal and vertical so that's all for the button and the global style and i'm not going to use uh, the button here but i would like to use the changes here that i'm using well so that's all and the layout colors type of everything looks perfect so there are a couple of other blocks that i'm not going to use at this moment but i will use it later on and i will show you how you can customize them also on your website okay just delete this one and save so when i click save here you can see uh, what kind of information i'm going to save in this template so here you can see i'm going to save custom styles for my themes and also there is a couple of information that you can take a look at here and you can read here so i'm just going to click on save and that's it in the next part i'll be creating header and then footer then other content area thank you so much for watching this video have a good day bye